interacted with delegates at Cape Coast and Elmina on March 30, 2023, during a campaign tour, former President John Mahama stated that he will abolish the closed season observed by artisanal fishermen, but will maintain that for industrial vessels, whom he said were destroying the ocean and breaking Ghana's fisheries laws. But the Fisheries and Aquaculture Development Minister Mavis Hawakumsin, reacting to the former president's comment, said she was disappointed at the utterances because the closed season were beneficial. I don't see a reason why a former president of Ghana will stand somewhere and say when he comes, he will cancel the closed season. The closed season is a law. It's backed by law. And so if you say you close it, then I beg to differ. He was the president of this country, and under his watch, there was psycho in this country. And we have all cried on this psycho issue that the trawlers are killing our artisanal fishes. So if you want to stop the psycho, then first of all, you have to also stop the, 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 the artisanals also from doing their illegal activities. Then you can stop the industrial people. This year, Canoe and inshore fishermen will observe the closed season from 1st to 31st July, while industrial trawlers will also do so from 1st July to 31st of August. On the issue of premix fuel distribution, Mavis Hawakumsin indicated that her ministry will soon commission completed premix automated outlets in different locations of the country by the end of the year to control issues of hoarding. Meanwhile, the Deputy Sector Minister Moses Anim indicated that to achieve the shared objectives, there is the need for collective thinking and collaborative work. I know that fishers are now relieved that the premise for distribution has resumed since March 2023. To keep the issues of middlemen, hoarding, and among other issues, I will be commissioning 20 of the completed premix automated outlets in different locations in the country. It is anticipated that by the end of the year, majority of the sites will have been completed and, dis and dispensing fuel. We have all discussed and agreed again today that any close season gains will not be realized if we all do not collectively combat IUU fishing activities.